easily is considered to be a blessing nowadays doctor can you tell me some of the reasons for the common lung problems commonly nowadays what we are facing is that air pollution mm-hmm. then smoking secondary smoking problem also mm-hmm. then industrial hazards uh, then anemia leads to also lung diseases mm-hmm. your take uh, basically lung conditions we can classify into four that is the reasons for the uh, lung diseases mm-hmm. so it is one restrictive mm-hmm. two obstructive three ventilative issues and fourth embolism or other kinds okay so so first one restrictive restrictive means there is restriction in the amount of oxygen let into our body mm-hmm. that is the lung cannot expand so that oxygen gets into the trachea bronchi alveoli so it can be due to asthma mm-hmm. can be due to uh, like uh, muscle uh, respiratory muscle issues mm-hmm. etc then second is obstructive mm-hmm. obstructive is the inability of the body to push out the used air that is the carbon dioxide from the lung outside mm-hmm. uh, the main one of the main condition of obstructive lung disease is uh, copd chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder okay then COPD is basically due to two conditions emphysema and chronic bronchitis mm-hmm. okay. then there is ventilation issues where there is fluid or mucus filled in the alveoli mm-hmm. so the oxygen and the carbon dioxide exchange doesn't take place mm-hmm. so the oxygen content in the blood diminishes mm-hmm. and the fourth one is embolism mm-hmm. that is the vessels get blocked clogged mm-hmm. the micro capillaries in the lung they get clogged so basically the main symptoms which we face the uh, patient face is, is breathlessness mm-hmm. then there will be uh, excession difficulties mm-hmm. sleep disturbances mm-hmm. snoring mm-hmm. yes so doctor what are the um, siddha management you can do for this uh, basically a uh, line of treatment is to reduce the uh, kutra dosha Mm-hmm. as part of siddha concern vatra dosha and panjabhuta are the main factors mm-hmm. for the disease's condition if it is it not in the normal limit diseases may occur mm-hmm. so for lung disorders firstly kapha kutram should be administered yes. so v shaded kapham should be uh, normalized first mm-hmm. so for that we used to give a purgative medicine vamana treatment and followed by that we used to give medications for a couple of months we cannot able to stop the medicine within a uh, week or two weeks it's a gradual But, process yeah because we are not treating the symptomatic causes we are treating the root cause so we have to give the medication for a couple of months okay. so it includes a uh, kasturi karpa madre vasanta kusumagaram tablet purna chandrodayam then hrudaya mohini syrup likewise lot of medicines are there mm-hmm. even nowadays after covid mm-hmm. hrudaya mohini is giving a better result in our clinical practice okay. so after covid lot of patients are struggling from lung disorders mm-hmm. they are not able to breathe easily mm-hmm. even small walking also makes them more palpitation mm-hmm. so hrudaya mohini is the best medicine under medical supervision we have to take the medicine okay what about an ayurvedic approach what an ayurvedic yeah as i told uh, there are multiple conditions mm-hmm. so the treatment would be based on it so first of all we should find out the condition of the lung mm-hmm. so for that we can do some investigations mm-hmm. like uh, if you feel that the oxygen or carbon dioxide is imbalanced in the blood mm-hmm. go for a abg mm-hmm. arterial blood gas report mm-hmm. then uh, we can take a chest x ray mm-hmm. uh, based on that or even a ct can help so accordingly we can do the treatment so most of the cases in basic line of treatment would be to clear the mucus mm-hmm. as most common cause for breathing issue is filled mucus and any of the earlier set four mm-hmm. conditions can lead to a mucus filled lung okay. so for clearing the mucus we can use agastya rasayana mm-hmm. agastya rasayana along with pravala basma and vyoshadi vataka mm-hmm. it is a wonderful combination so a long term use maybe uh, according to the uh, condition and physician's advice uh, we can give up to 45 days a period of 45 days mm-hmm. along with that we can use shiva guliga mm-hmm. shiva guliga which is 
prescribed by acharya in uh, kshaya that is tuberculosis like conditions so it also helps in regenerating or cleansing out the alveoli more than regenerating it helps in the cleansing out and lung can be cleansed out by some practices like yoga then efforted coughing like if you have phlegm you feel that you have much of cough in your chest lie down with head down and slightly cough cough out the phlegm out it can reduce the symptoms then we can do uh, percussion yeah. percussion is uh, tapping over your back yeah. so that uh, help the patient to cough out the yes. mucus okay so such treatments can be done then tipali rasayana is there yeah. tipali rasayana as it's a rasayana a long term use can help in restoring the breathing ability yeah. okay then solanum syrup for cough chronic cough and uh, even in uh, kids you can use solanum syrup solanum capsule is there then there are many other medications which can be prescribed according to the condition okay and daily use of uh, guda that is jaggery yeah. is very effective uh, in many of the industrial conditions yeah. you have uh, as a doctor mentioned occupational hazard yeah. lung disease comes as occupational hazard yeah. and most of the earlier days cement factories and uh, the factories like asbestos factories and all where most of dust and carbon is produced they give uh, jaggery to the uh, workers free of cost but most of the workers earlier this they used to take it but nowadays most of the workers what they do either uh, take it home and give it to someone else or sell it so this is one of the reasons why many respiratory issues are coming out recently in uh, cement factories earlier workers used to have a better life span than the later stage nowadays the youngsters are dying more of lung diseases so the best thing is immediately you come out of the factory take a piece of jaggery if you are not diabetic okay if you are diabetic get an expert advice after that you can because jaggery is clinically proven by the industrial scientific technology research center in lucknow that it helps in translocating the carbon particles or dust from the lung alveoli to the lymph nodes yeah and it is scientifically proven uh, through multiple trials so using jaggery and if it is better use medicated jaggery that is add uh, dry ginger then uh, black pepper and long pepper tipali add these things to the uh, jaggery and take it daily like a combination yeah like a combination even honey can be used so it helps very well in most of the cases of occupational lung disease breathing should never be difficult in any way so always keep your lungs healthy and clean